All right. So for this problem, we have a jet that is banking and we need to go ahead and set up a free body diagram to go ahead and calculate the amount of lift needed to um, keep the plane horizontal, essentially. So if we have a free body diagram, we'll have um, if it's banked, the lift is going to be pushing it um, basically right underneath the wings, right? So the lift force we can say is going this way. And we can say this is the force of lift or FL. This is the centripetal force keeping it down. And then I'll just label this Y and X. And then this is the force of gravity keeping it down. And it's banked at some angle theta. All right, so the lifting force has two components as the Y component and the X component. The Y component is going to be FL sine of theta. And the X component is going to be FL cosine of theta. All right, so if we are essentially finding the angle here, um, if we're going to set up a free body diagram, we, we need the forces in terms of X and Y to break them down. Because what are we trying to find? We are trying to find the lifting force. So to find the amount of lifting force on it, which is pushing, which is pushing the wings, keeping the plane banked, um, we're going to do the following. So the sum of the forces in the X direction is just going to be um, equal to the centripetal force, which is just going to be mv squared over r. All right, um, and uh, that is going to also equal the lifting force in the x direction, which will be um, fl cosine theta. So what's doing the centripetal force is the x component of the lift. Now the sum of the forces in the y direction are going to be equal to zero because it's staying on a horizontal path. So the y forces have to keep it just going purely horizontal. So the sum of them are going to be zero and that's going to be the y component of the lifting force, FL sine theta, minus the force of gravity. All right. So um, the force of gravity, this is just going to be mg. So we get mg is equal to FL sine theta. All right, so now we have equation one and two. So we can go ahead and divide um, equation one and two. And what you'll get is you'll get FL sine theta over FL cosine theta is equal to mg over mv squared over r. Okay, so the FLs will cancel out and um, we will just end up getting this is all equal to tan theta. The m's cancel out, so we get tan theta is equal to gr over v squared. So theta is going to be equal to inverse tan gr over v squared. All right, awesome. So now that we have theta, we can go ahead and calculate the lifting force. So we can use either equation. We can use equation one or two. Let's just, um, to keep it simple, let's choose equation one. So we have mg is equal to fl sine theta. Um, and then we can go ahead and just say that turn this into FL is equal to um, MG cosecant theta, cosecant theta, which is just one over sine. So your answer is just going to be um, MG cosecant theta which will be cosecant of inverse tangent of gr over v squared.
and this will be your lifting force. So just plug in your mass, plug in the gravitational constant, the radius and the velocity with which it's going to, and you should get your answer. Thank you.